Hello everybody and welcome back to the garage. Today I wanted to make a short video about vacuum tube voltmeters and an issue that I came across when I was troubleshooting with this meter here. This is a Heathkit VTVM model IM-28. I just picked this up off eBay uh, as an untested meter. The seller said it powered on but weren't able to test it any further than that because it didn't have the probes. So as you can see, this meter is in very nice condition. It looks like it hasn't been used too much. The only major sign of wear is a little crack in the meter plastic right here, but that's to be expected. This meter is from the 1970s. So as I was troubleshooting this meter, I saw that all of the components inside, like the capacitors and resistors and even the vacuum tubes, they seem to work just fine. The meter powered on okay. I could hear the power transformer running. Everything seemed good but the meter itself was completely unresponsive. It didn't show any signs of life. And I can demonstrate that right now. I have the meter plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on to the positive DC mode. As you can see, the light came on. Now what should happen is the meter should deflect fully since the tubes have cooled down and it should drop back to zero once the tubes start warming up. And it should have done that by now. As you can see, the meter has not moved at all. And so that is the issue that this meter has. And I'm gonna show you that this issue is not caused by any bad or leaking capacitor. It's not a resistor that went out of tolerance. It's not even the vacuum tubes. It is an issue completely with the meter. And the meter is not open either. The coil is not open. So I already took all the screws out of this thing. Let's take a look inside and I'll show you what the issue was. So I went ahead and hooked up some clip leads to the actual meter terminals on the back. So what you're going to want to do to test the meter is hook up a 10k ohm resistor, at least a 10k ohm value, to the negative terminal. And then you're going to want to hook up the negative terminal of your bench power supply to the other end of this resistor. And then you'll hook up your positive clip lead straight to the DC power supply. So all you need in the circuit is just a resistor that's at least 10k ohms. And then so what you're going to see, turn the meter around, is when I turn up the voltage on the bench power supply, you'll see the meter start to deflect. So I'll go ahead and turn this thing around. Right now the meter itself is off and unplugged. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the voltage up. Right now we're at about a volt. Two volts, three volts. As you can see, there goes the meter. Did you see it jump there? We're at 4.4 volts right now. Let's turn it up a little more. As you can see, it's being a little jumpy. That's just because this thing hasn't been ran in so long. It's not used to deflecting. So right now, I'm not moving the bench power supply voltage at all. We're at seven volts right now. And as you can see, this thing is just slowly climbing. I'm still not moving the voltage. We are still at seven volts and it's still climbing very slowly. So as you can see, this is this was an age-related problem. It just hasn't been run in so long that it needs more power than what the meter usually gives it in order to get it used to deflecting again. All right, so this thing's been sitting for about a minute now. I've actually had to turn the voltage down a little bit. As you can see, it's made it up to the other side of the scale. And so what you want to do is monitor this as you let it sit because you don't want it to go way so far off scale that it breaks the actual meter. So once the meter climbs up to full scale, you'll kind of want to turn the voltage down just a little bit to make sure that that doesn't happen. So we were at 6.9 volts. I let it sit there for a while. Now I'm down to 6.5. As you can see, it is still full scale. As you can see, I'm very slightly turning it down and it is making movement come up on the meter. Now we're down to 6.4 and we're still pretty much at full scale. So now what I'm gonna do is take off the clip leads, plug the meter in and turn it on and it should deflect like it's supposed to. Okay, the meter is plugged in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and we'll watch for deflection. As you can see, there it went. 
and I'm not sure if the tubes were completely cooled down since I only had it off for a short time, but what should happen is um, when the tubes are completely cooled down, it should deflect probably up to around full scale and then back down. As you can see, it only deflected a little bit. Now, that could be for one of two reasons. Either the tubes weren't completely cool, or I need to let this thing sit on my bench power supply for longer. But as you can see, the meter did deflect. It's a little bit uh, off zero, and you can just change that, of course, with your zero adjustment. As you, as you can see, the meter is now responding to that, whereas before, it was not. So, I just wanted to make this short video to explain this issue and hopefully to help you if you're having similar issues with your vacuum tube voltmeter. I hope this is helpful. I will see you all next time.